the ongoing challenges of cryptocurrencies uh, and blockchain trading. Let's find out a little bit more about this from the Chief Technology Officer of Help AG Middle East, the cybersecurity arm of uh, EAN Enterprise, formerly Atislat Digital. Uh, Nikolai Soling joins us live on the line. Nikolai, thank you so much indeed for your time this morning. Good morning, Tom, and, and good to talk to you again. Um, talking of the challenges that the cybersecurity industry are facing at the moment, and in light of those eye-watering numbers, a third of UA residents, is the developing, the evolving cryptocurrency field proving something of a challenge for cybersecurity? I think it's, uh, it's definitely a lot of value that we're putting into the technologies that's operating uh, crypto environments. And uh, I think that's really where we see some weaknesses right now that is impacting uh, the robustness of, uh, of those specific systems. Um, very much down to the fact that, that users might not really take uh, enough uh, diligence uh, compared to the value that they're putting into these systems. And just in terms of that, a little conversation we were having uh, here, and obviously cybersecurity is a global concern, is a global industry, um, as is blockchain and cryptocurrency. Yet we're seeing a large uptake. The early adoption here in the UAE, here in the Middle East, seems to be higher than it is in other parts of the world. Does that, again, make your job, Nikolai, and your team's job that tougher here than it does elsewhere? No doubt that the UAE is uh, is a nation which is really, really in love with technology, uh, not just from the private side, but also the government. We have a very, very digital uh, uh, government uh, here in the in the region, and that you know gives us a lot of capabilities as a society. But it's also an area that is impacting the uh, the impact of, of cyber security. That's also the reason why we see government initiatives about how do we heighten the uh, the level of uh, of readiness, both in the government sector but also in the private sector. Uh, we've recently had the 2022 World Economic Forum on cybersecurity. Uh, you and the team at uh, uh, AG have recently launched your State of the Market Report 2022. What are the main topics or the main areas of concerns for corporates? Well, I think, first of all, uh, if you want to put an, a, a single word on it, it would be more. We see more and more cyber attacks. Um, ransomware and phishing is two areas which is really, really concerning to organizations. Ransomware being this type of attack where um, attackers, they go in and encrypt your file and hold them ransom so that you have to pay a ransom in order to get access to them again very often utilizing cryptocurrencies as the payment form in those specific scenarios. Um, and then specifically, if you drill down here to the UAE, we see a lot of attacks around the availability of the IT infrastructure. This is what we call DDoS attacks. And, uh, and every single day, we see thousands of attacks. Actually, every third minute, we start to mitigate a new, unique attack on some kind of infrastructure here in the UAE. So these are really, really staggering numbers. In, in terms of those numbers, Nikolai, often we hear uh, of some of the high-profile cases, etc. But in terms uh, of uh, the number of attacks, are we seeing the number of attacks going up as well? Yes, there's two elements that's happening right now. First of all, the frequency of attacks is increasing. And the other thing is that the sophistication of attacks is increasing as well. And I think that's very, very key to understand that this is a... Uh, attacks and cyber crim crime is a, an industry today. Um, you know, the uh, U.S. Department of, of Treasury, uh, they actually released a report where they tracked the 10 biggest ransomware families and how much money they brought in in, in cryptocurrency. And that was about $5 billion. Or so. so it's there's a lot of, of organizations and individuals criminal organizations and criminal individuals who has a lot of interest in making sure that this food chain keeps on going. And that means that they're going to increase sophistication and they're going to increase um, the frequency as long as they're successful in these kind of attacks. Until now, we've been told uh, or given advice from experts that, you know, software updates, um, uh, channels of communication with companies like yourself and other professionals is the way to tackle uh, the cyber criminals out there. Is that still the case or what does the future of cyber security hold in the fight against criminals? 
a number of elements. These are, of course, two very, very good fundamentals that everyone should be following. Uh, and I still advise people to do that. What I also advise, something relatively practical and, 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 and easy to do, is that every single service that you utilize online, you enable this capability of two-factor authentication, which means that every time that you connect from a new device, you have to go through an extra form of authentication. I know that it can be a little bit challenging for people to, to set this up, uh, but uh, it's, it's really important that you get it done. Specifically, if you're also trading in cryptocurrency and you're having a lot of value in sitting in your IT systems and sitting in the services that you're utilizing, you should really take the responsibility of being able to, uh, to handle this kind of technology. And one of the key things here is two-factor authentication. It can be set up in all of the popular services today, like LinkedIn, Facebook, your Google, your uh, Outlook, and all of these different kind of things. And it's just a question of going in and enabling those things. So, so that's my little morning advice to everyone who's listening here today. The perfect way to start the week, Nikolai. Thank you so much indeed uh, for your advice. Nikolai Soling there, Chief Technology Officer, the CTO of Help AG Middle East. Uh, they, of course, are the authors of their recently launched State of Market Report 2022, Day Zero and Beyond.